hello everyone welcome back to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve this amazing exponential math problem which you never seen on any youtube channel here so how can we solve this amazing exponential math problem here first of all in this problem in both the terms we will try to solve the powers 3 raised to power 2 and 2 raised to power 4 so here what is the value of 3 raised to power 2 3 raised to power 2 means we need to multiply 3 2 times so 3 times 3 is 9 so here 3 raised to power 2 is 9 now what is the value of 2 raised to power 4 so 2 raised to power 4 me means we need to multiply 2 4 times so 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 so 2 raised to power 4 is 16 so here we replace both the powers 3 raised to power 2 with 9 and 2 raised to power 4 with 16 so this problem will become implies this will become 4 but we can write this power as 2 raised to power 2 or 2 square all raised to power this power 3 raised to power 2 is 9 minus 3 raised to power 2 raised to power 4 is 16 now here in this one term we will use an exponential math property a raised to power m all raised to power m so here we will use this one exponential math property in the first term we can write a raised to power m or raised to power n as a raised to power m times n. Now, using this exponential property here, this term will become implies 2 raised to power. Here we will multiply the powers. So, 2 times 9 is 18 minus 3 raised to power 16. Now, what we will do here? Here we will split up these two powers this 18 to the sum of 8 plus 10 and this 16 to the sum of 8 plus 8 so this equation will become implies 2 raised to power 18 can be written as 8 plus 10 minus 3 raised to power 16 but we can write 16 as the sum of 8 plus 8 and here in both the terms we will use another exponential identity a raised to power m plus n so here in both the terms we will use this one exponential identity we can write a raised to power m plus n as a raised to power m times a raised to power n now using this exponential identity here this equation will become implies this will become 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 10 minus and this will become 3 raised to power 8 times 3 raised to power 8. Now what we will do here in this step? In this step we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 8, 3, 2 raised to power 10 and 3 raised to power 8. So here first we will find out the value of 2 raised to power 8. So therefore we can write 2 raised to power 8 as this means that we have to multiply this 2 8 times. So let us multiply this 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, 128 times 2 is 256. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now multiplying 2, 8 times 8 gives him 256. So here the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256. Now here next we will find out the value of 2 raised to power 10 what is the value of 2 raised to power 10 here 2 raised to power 10 is a very famous number that we mostly use is in our videos which is equal to 1024 so therefore the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 and here we will try to find out the value of 3 raised to power 8 that what is the value of 3 raised to power 8 so here we can write this 3 raised to power 8 as 3 raised to power 8. Now this power 8 can be written as the sum of 4 plus 4. Now using exponential identity we can write this as 3 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 4. Now what is the value of 3 raised to power 4? Now 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27 and 27 times 3 is 81. So the value of 3 raised to power 4 is 81. So this will become 81 times 81. But we can write this next 81 as the sum of 80 plus 1 here we multiply this 81 with both the numbers so here this will become first we multiply 81 with 80 so this will become 
81 times 0 is 0 and 81 times 8 is 8 times 1 is 8 and 8 times 8 is 64 so this will become 6480 plus we will multiply 81 with 1 so 81 times 1 is 81 we will add these two numbers so this will become 1 plus 0 is 1 8 plus 8 is 16 so 6 1 will be carried to this number 4 plus 1 is 5 and this 6 so this gives him 6 5 6 8 6 1 561 so here the will of 3 is to power 8 is 6561 now here we will replace these three numbers 2 is to power 8 2 is to power 10 and 3 is to power 8 with its values so this equation will become implies it will become the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 times the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 minus and the value of 3 raised to power 8 is 6561 6561 times 6561 now here how can you multiply these two numbers and these two numbers with each other without using calculator and without using standard multiplication so here is a track let's learn how can you multiply these numbers with each other so in the first multiplication we will write this number as the same 256 will be the same times and here we can write this 1024 as the sum of 1000 plus 20 plus 4 here the addition of these three numbers gives him 1024 minus and here this number will be the same 6561 and here we can write this second number as the sum of 6000 plus 500 plus 60 plus 1 now here we can easily multiply this number inside the parentheses in both the cases so here first we multiply these numbers with each other so this will become here 256 times 1000 is 256 times 0 is 0 256 times 0 is 0 256 times 0 is 0 and 256 times 1 is 256 so this gives him 256,000 plus we will multiply 256 with 20 so this will become 256 times 0 is 0 and 256 times 2 is 2 times 6 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried 2 times 5 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so 1 1 will be carried so 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so here this number times 20 gives him 5120 plus we will multiply 256 with 4 so 4 times 6 is 24 so 4 2 will be carried 4 times 5 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22, so 2, 2 will be carried, now 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, so this gives him 1024, press is close, minus, now here we multiply 6561 with these four numbers, so here first we will multiply this number with 6000, so this will become here, this number times 0 is 0, so here we will again open the braces so this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 6 is 6 times 1 is 6 6 times 6 is 36 so 6 3 will be carried 6 times 5 is 30 30 plus 3 is 33 so 3 3 will be carried 6 times 6 is 36 36 plus 3 is 39 so here this number times 6000 gives him 39 million 366 thousand plus now here we will multiply this number with 500 so we will multiply it here so this will become plus no this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 5 is 5 times 1 is 5 comma 5 times 6 is 30 so 0 3 will be carried 5 times 5 is 25 25 plus 3 is 28 so 8 2 will be carried 5 times 6 is 30, 30 plus 2 is 32. So this will become 3,280,500. Now plus, we will multiply this number with 60. So this will become, this number times 0 is 0. And this number times 6 is, here we multiply 6 with this number, which gives him 
39,366. So we will replace 6 times this number with this value. So this will become 6, 6, 3, 9, 3. So here the product of 6,561 times 6 is 39366 plus now here this number times 1 is this one number. So this will become 6561. Braces close. Now what we will do here? Here first we will add these three numbers and then we will add these four numbers. So let us add these three numbers. So this will become implies. Now here we will start from the ones position. So here 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. No, 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 0 is again 4. No, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, comma. No, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So 2. When we carry to the next digit, next is 5. So 5 plus 1 is 6 and 2. So here the addition of these three numbers gives him. 262,144 plus now here we will add these four numbers with each other so again we will start from the ones position so this will become here 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 no 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus 0 plus 0 is 12 so this will become 2 1 will be carried to the next digit now 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 0 is 17, so this will become 7, 1 will be carried to the next digit, now here next digit is 6, so 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 0 is 10, and 10 plus 6 is 16, so this will become 6, 1 will be carried to the next digit, now here next digit is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 8 is 18, 18 plus 6 is 24 so this will become 4 here 2 will be carried no the next digit is 3 so 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 and 7 plus 3 is 10 so this will become 0 1 will be carried to the next digit so here the next digit is 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 9 is 13 so 3 1 will be carried to this digit 3 plus 1 is 4 so here the addition of these four numbers gives him 43 million 46721 so here there is not addition there is subtraction sign so we will add a subtraction sign here we have to subtract these two numbers so how can you subtract these two numbers here this number is bigger and this number is smaller so it is not possible to subtract this number from this one number so what we will do here here we will subtract this smaller number from the bigger number and then we will add a negative sign with the answer now how can we subtract these two numbers so we will subtract it here so here first we will write the uh, greater number now the greater number is 43 million 46,721 next we will write the smaller number that is 262,144 so let's subtract these two numbers so this will become here 1 minus 4 is not possible so we'll give 1 10 from this number so this will become 11 11 minus 4 is 7 now this will remain 1 now again we will give 1 10 from this number so this will become 11 11 minus 4 is again 7 now this remains 6 so 6 minus 1 is 5 comma 6 minus 2 is 4 4 minus 6 is not possible so here we will give 110 to this number so this will become 10 now we will give 110 to this one number so this will become 14 and this will remain 9 now 14 minus 6 is 8 and 9 minus 2 is 7 comma this remain 2 this will become 2 and this will become 4 so here the subtraction of these two numbers gives him 42 million 784 so here we will re replace this subtraction with that answer and we will add a negative sign to the, our answer so here the number is 42 million 784,577 and we will add a negative sign to this answer because this subtraction is reversed so finally negative 42 million 784,577 is our answer and value of
this nice and interesting simplification and explanation math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching